I like the flexibility of being able to uh, undo my mistakes and look again at some other stuff really quickly and easily. Working on film, I mean, you could drop, th there, was some, there was an advantage to working on film in that you could lose a piece of film for a while. And while you were looking for it in the bottom of the barrel or in a box somewhere, you could be thinking, oh, while well, something was being spliced. In fact, network, I cut the film without splicing or looking at anything. Uh, every day I would cut pretty much a reel of film and pin it together with paper clips. And my assistant would splice it and before so about four o'clock in the afternoon, I would look at those scenes, make usually no more than two or three little adjustments in the timing and go on to the next scene. I've never been able to do that on any other movie. Uh, I'm not sure I really want to, but this stuff was so, um, it was so well covered and so easy to handle. There were very few problems in this movie. Uh, again, part of the, partly, a large part due to the writing. A long time before that, when I was a sound editor on a film called The Group, a wonderful uh, editor named Aram Avakian came in and he was looking over my shoulder. Ralph Rosenblum had edited The Group and I was doing sound effects for a very simple dinner scene between two people. And Aram said to me, what a wonderful cut that was as we went from one medium shot to another. And I said, why is it so good? He said, well, run it, look at it. And I kept looking at it and I kept looking at it and I realized that the motion of one of the actors putting a fork of food in his mouth was picked up on the cut to the next actor who did something that echoed this in the next frame. And suddenly, for me, the whole process of editing became very clear. It was, it's like a silent movie. It, it's putting together pictures that, when juxtaposed, change the meaning uh, or embellish the meaning. I just, I just love that.